And then what would you, this looks a lot like some similar uh, riveters to set up with the bolt. And, and that's where you would put your, what, your anvil? The, the anvil will drop right in this hole here. I'll show you. It comes with. Oh, this all comes with the packaging this, too? You get um, the, the rivet head. That's called the rivet head. The rivet head. A splash anvil. Splash anvil. A punch holder and a punch. Okay. And a brass anvil for punching. Come with it. And this is a driver. And this little screw comes with it. This, this is a second, this is a cap anvil. You can get either, you get one of the rivet anvils. You get either a cap anvil or a splash anvil. Uh, you can choose either one. And you can change those out, obviously? Yes, it's yes. It's as, it's as simple to to uh, change from a cap to a splash is dropping. There you have a splash, or a, a cap anvil. And all you would have to do. And that's like for a flat cap anvil. Yes, yes, and we'll show you that in a moment. Yeah. And, then and the, that is for a splash anvil. And the splash anvil, that, that's when you're gonna do like a flowering or a rollover? Yeah. Show you how to do everything that this thing will do. We're going to start with a punch. You have a punch holder and a punch and you can buy different size punches. I recommend that you have a punch holder for each of your punches because it, it's uh, very particular how you put these in. You can't over tighten them. You can't have them too loose. So I recommend a punch holder for each of your punches. Okay. So to put your punch in, you simply slip the punch up in the opening there and then take your allen screw this is just a magnet take your allen wrench off of there that's convenient and tighten it up and you'll tighten it up on both sides just make it snug snug on this side get it in there if i go the right direction it helps Clockwise. Yep. Good. And you just make it snug. You don't have to make it real tight. Just snug it up. And then you will need your brass anvil. Just slips down in there. That sits would be like that. And then you want to adjust the height so that it just touches. So you bring your punch all the way down. This simple mechanism is you just loosen that nut and then you turn it up. And you want it to just touch. You don't want it to hit hard, but to just touch. Because that would dull your blade. Yeah, if it was it's too gonna. Tight. It has to go down into that brass just, just a, little a little bit, bit, or it won't cut completely. Okay. And then, and then you turn this set nut down, and you just make it finger tight. You do not need to use a wrench. If you use a wrench, it'll get so tight that you can't get it loose. Gotcha. Great. Okay, so now you take your biothane and you'll want to set your guide. That, get it. That'll help with your centering then? Yep, so that you get it right in the center. You can see, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's just a little bit of a mark there where the, where the punch was touching. Oh, I see. So that and you kinda, can get it. You can get it right to the center. That kind of gives you a nice little yep. kind of a cheat sheet. Yep, and then you, you tighten that back up so your guide doesn't move. You set your biothane where you want it. Come down with your handle, and it's almost effortless. Punch right through it. Oh, you punch that with one finger. And there you go. How about that? Nice clean hole. And then the slugs come out this hole in the... Will come out the top there. Once it gets full, so they'll come no, out the you're, top. You don't have to worry about the clean out You don't phase. have to clean it out. These punches are tapered in a way that is made for the biothane. They're very sharp, and as long as they're used like this and with the, with the brass anvil, 
uh, they should say stay sharp for what would you say, Leroy? Thousands of punches? Probably. If, yes. if it's done right, they will last for thousands of punches. And right. you just. almost wow. effortless. Wow, that, that is really, really effortless. Now we're going to remove the punch. And you can see it's just loosening up these Allen screws that are locking it into place. Pretty basic and straightforward. Take these out. They should just slide right out. Oh, and, they, and they normally do. If you're having a problem, then there is a... If I can get it here. Can you see the, the slot there? Yeah. Okay. You just put your... Put your oh. Allen wrench in there, and then you can push down oh, and, that, and push it right yeah. out. So that, that's in case it's wedged in there a little bit tight. Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Now we're going to put the rivet head in. And the first thing you want to do, this is the driver. When you put this in, you have to make sure that the short end goes up in and it has to go up in against this collar. Just like this. Okay. And then we'll tighten the set screws again. Good. So in order to have enough room to get this up in properly, just take your anvil out, set it to the side. Easy enough. This slides up on here. And then this turns into, you might want to show this, turns into that opening right there. It's a threaded opening. Just take this little screw. Oh, and that, that's how you know it's square and plumb? Yeah. And you have to bring the handle up a little bit so that that comes down far enough. Turn that in until it's snug. Up, the handle straight up so that it's up okay. all the way. Yep. Now that locking threaded yep. wing nut screws in. Good. Mm -hmm. Then what? And then you put your, we're going to do splash rivets first. So you put your splash anvil in. I need to turn the bolt down a little further so I can get the splash anvil in. Okay. Just like that. That looks good. And you turn this up. Now the adjustment on this is not an exact science. You bring it down, and if you can see this driver coming down here, you want to bring that down. It's, it's really hard to see, but you bring that down until you are close to that anvil. Oh, okay. And then you punch a few, or you, you, you put, set a few rivets, and you'll have to play with it until you get it so that it's right. This is called a tubular rivet. Yeah. And what is this one? Is, is this a 6 That's a 5 This is a 5 sixteenths. And this is standard beta, right? Yeah. And so that's what you need is 5 sixteenths. If you're going to double standard and rivet it, then you need 5 sixteenths. Right. Okay. And we'll talk about that with rivets, stainless steel rivets, you can only do a splash rivet. You cannot put a cap on our stainless steel rivets. The, the steel is too hard. It does not work with a cap. If you want a capped rivet, then you have to use either solid brass or the nickel plated. Okay. Okay. And then how would this work then? Okay. So what you do, you just simply drop your rivet in there and it sits right in there you can see it oh yeah got it yep so you don't have to pre-punch the holes for these you do oh. not have to pre-punch a hole oh how about that the rivet punches right through this is standard biothane so we're using a 5 16 rivet and you just bring it down and again we'll, we'll go easy because we're not sure that we have it set at the right height distance and there's the bottom now when they stick like that it usually means that they're not through quite far enough mm -hmm. so you can see there's a good bit of gap there we need to bring that anvil up further looks like that it did not rivet properly that would pull apart real easy even though these are just trials 
to show you how this works. Okay, so there's the rivet again. Drop the rivet right in there. Make sure I'm far enough away from the other one. Drive it right down in there. You could hear it piercing the... Mm -hmm. And there it's stuck again, so it's Bye. probably still not quite far enough. Well, that doesn't look too bad. Okay. So number three. Um, now we've adjusted it a second time, and we'll try a third time here. In there. Oh, yeah, look that's, at the difference. That's much better. If you look, it's right down against. That is, that's how you want your rivets to look. And we have to, again, move the bolt down, which means we'll have to do some adjusting again. kind of rivets are these? So this is a nickel plated rivet. It, we're no longer using the stainless because we want to put a cap on. This could be done as a splash rivet. You just would use the splash anvil and not put a cap in. So uh, riveting standard biothane. When you, rivet, when you double and rivet standard biothane, you need a 5 16 uh, rivet. Okay. If, you have, if you're using super heavy, you want a 6 16 rivet. Six sixteenths. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you simply put your rivet in the top like you did with the splash anvil. Okay. And now you put your cap in the cap anvil just like that. Okay. And we're going to have to do some experimenting again to make sure that we get the height right. Sure. So we just pull down. there you can see oh, yeah look at the difference yeah that's more of a nice finished look yes. where, where if you don't want it rubbing maybe on an animal or some skin mm -hmm. it's yes. not going to be as abrasive it gives it a very nice finished look this is real close to right I it's a lot closer than I thought it would be it still needs to be a little bit tighter we'll give this try number two with our nickel plated rivets nickel-plated rivet and a nickel-plated cap. Did you already adjust the height? Yes, I did adjust the height. Okay, so now we're gonna go for a little more snug bit. Try it again. 